Hi, welcome to the Gainsplainer. I'm Jeff the Gainsplainer and today I'm Gainsplaining Foodies. So if you've watched the Gainsplanation for Foodies, you'll have an idea of how the game runs. I'm going to have a brief playthrough of a section of the game uh, for two players. The only difference with a two player game is the side of the board that you use. So, first player, he starts by rolling the die. He rolls a four, which gets him one money. It gets the other player one money as well. This player now elects to purchase something and he thinks he'll actually purchase this one and he will place it, he likes there. That's got a picture of the flyer on it. So he gets another one of them by building that. All these move down, he doesn't have enough to do anything at the top so we'll leave that for the moment and goes over to the other player. The other player rolls a one so he gets one money, and this player also gets one money, which he will take. Okay, that player, he will spend three money to purchase this one. Because of the placement of the stars, he probably will place that there. The reason I'm not placing in the corner is because of this um, chef for hire uh, wishes for everyone to be in the, in the middle one, so in this area. So we'll go at the top for the moment. Back over to the first player, green player. He rolls a four. So four, he's going to gain a star. And four, he will gain one money. This player is going to spend five money to gain that. Goes down and the next one comes out. Back over to the other player's turn. And he has rolled a five. So, a five gets him two money. A five gets this player one star into an adjacent stall, so he might as well throw that in there. There's a completed star here at the moment, so he also gets a star for that, and he also gets a star for that. So he'll take two stars. The other player now builds something. He might spend five money to build that so by sticking with the one country he's got things that are actually feeding off each other okay back over to this player this player has rolled a zero which allows him to take anything that he wishes and he's going to go for that for a four so that gets him one star that one for a star and the star in between it doesn't however get him any money and this player gets one money this player has no money to actually spend on anything at the moment. So while his stars are ahead, he can't purchase anything. And so he'll pass over to the other player. The other player rolls a two. This player is getting nothing. This player will get a star for every thing that he's surrounded by. So he will get a star for being surrounded by this chili plus an extra star, so he gets two stars. He only has one money, so he can't afford to purchase anything either. So let's move on, back over to this player. You see the problem, these guys are just going after stars, they're not going after money, which makes it really hard to move forward and to gain more things in. So you actually need to find a balance between when to get for money, when to go for stars. He's only got one money, he can't afford to do anything. That player um, gets a two. Once again, he gets a star for the chili next to him, plus another star, so has two more stars. And once again, he only has one money, so he can't build anything. This player, once again, rolls a two. Um, he might use this to make that a one for him, which will allow him to at least get a money, so he can do something about that. Uh, this player gets two stars, which brings him up to equal. This player now has two money, so he's gonna spend that two money to bring this in, uh, yeah, he'll put that there. Okay, everything moves down. This player's turn, he's rolled a zero. He's going to make that a two, uh, which will get him one, two more stars. And get this guy nothing. He's only got one mate, so it actually doesn't help him at all, but he's going to push forward with the stars. Coming back over to this player. This player rolls a one, which gets him a money. 
Uh, once again, not enough money. You can see where the problem with this game is if you don't have money, you need to balance getting money and getting stars. So what's happened is both these players have gone for stars too early, so it's actually halted the progress of the game simply because we can't get more items into their stalls. I think you see how this game goes and how it plays and what's going on with it. Um, this player was looking for a six. As soon as the six is rolled here, we've got two money as well as his stars for doing that. So look, we'll leave it there. If you have any games that you would like to be against playing, please shoot me an email at thegamesplanner at gmail.com. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at thegamesplanner to keep up to date with the games I'm playing. Subscribe to my videos to keep up to date with the games I'm games planning. And until next time, enjoy gaming.